Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Shit's Creek Season 2, Episode Number 3. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. Hit the notification bell. It does continue to help the algorithm. Thank All right, you. a couple comments from Episode 2, starting with Executive Producer Dell Guy, who says, a, a great reaction as always. I love the way you both break down the nuances of Alexis's interaction with Ted and David's with Stevie. I think this is the first episode where we see the special way Bob walks when he has any distance to cover. He's low-key trotting or jogging with his elbows pumping even though he's just walking. Watch for it in later episodes. Okay. Exec, uh, Executive Producer Jojo adds, just fold it in. That shit had me dying because she doesn't just, know what the fuck it yeah, is. Just, just fold just it in. Just do what it says. Just fold it in. All right, and then last comments from executive producer Melanie saying, Alexis's Statue of Liberty outfit to go break up with Ted makes me laugh so hard. Great reaction, so you much. guys. It was so extra. <laughs> it's so much. All right, let's jump into episode three right now. David, Alexis, time to leave for breakfast. Breakfast. Honestly, David, why are you not ready? I'm not going. How is it that a moth can find its way into a triple lock titanium suitcase? The perils of owning cashmere. Alexis, please, dear. Alexis hasn't been here for a week and a half. She's a mutz. Well, that's simply not true. I had breakfast with her just yesterday. That was me. We had a lengthy conversation about hosiery and menopause. Again, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I talk to you about that exactly, Mom? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, hey. Can I get you to take a quick look at my muffler? Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I don't work here. Oh, that's you got a desk. Because you're behind the desk. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, I mean I work here, but I don't actually work here, in the garage. I mean I am working here in the garage, but I, I don't work for the garage. Just so renting you out don't the know space. Anything, anything about mufflers? I think it's just the loose connection on the. On yeah, the Bob. We'll be back in a minute, and I think that's your best bet. Just, you know, because he comes and goes, and... Okay. Well, maybe I'll just go to another garage. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, I uh, couldn't help. I'm still not understanding why he took that uh... Okay, yeah, he does. Hey, Jenny, right? just went out and got me a muffin. Bob, the customer right where we was just in here, and he was saying he had a problem with a with a muffler. Oh yeah, what uh, what did it end up being? Well, I don't know. Well, I, I don't, don't do muffers. Oh, I'm not a mechanic. Well, I, I don't expect you to know everything, but uh, you know, if a client of yours came in here, I, I'd certainly talk to them. Well, I hope you wouldn't. Oh, not that I have to worry. I, I know you're a little low on clients. That's because Ooh. I'm building a business, Bob. And right now I'm in strategy mode, looking for opportunities, and eventually I will implement a plan. Well, if you feel like uh, you might like to uh, implement a muffler, uh, be my guest, because uh, I can't afford to lose any customers right now, Johnny, uh, especially uh, when I'm giving away free office space. Mm. I don't know why he did this. Nope, still don't understand why. The cedar planks out behind the motel, are they being used for something or are they up for grabs? How do you know it's cedar? Um, I bought a cologne once in Japan that's supposed to smell like the aftermath of a car crashing into a cedar tree. Are they related to anyone so specific. Smell like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. Uh, the cedar is yours. Thank you so much. Um, if I may, what are you planning on doing with a pile of wood? Um, a family of moths seem to have mistaken my cashmere sweaters for an Atlantic City all-you-can-eat buffet, and I plan on putting a stop to that. So, I'm building a cedar chest for my nets. You're planning on building Moths don't like cedar? cedar? That's he's, correct. He's building a chest. You are. You're gonna build it. It's a box, so you're just nailing some planks of wood together. Anyway, if you've seen the state of my sweaters, you'd know that I have very little choice in the matter. Well, don't let me stand in the way of your handiwork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. May, may the force be with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Genuinely. Honestly. You're so great. You're so great. <laughs> You're gonna build it? You? Oh, 
Yeah, the uh, the owners just stepped out, uh, but well, they can't even. Maybe I can help you. No, he's trying to be nice to you. Hey, has well, Paul Bunyan he, he rented it for free, babe. So who? I am going to need some things for the chest. Like the number for a carpenter? Like a workbench, a miter saw, two bar clamps, and some towels. Okay. Oh. Do you know how to use a miter saw? Um, no. Mud is out back and he's asked me to get these things for him. Um, oh. We're building the chest together. So. So. <laughs> so wow. cute. This whole thing just got a lot weirder. Um, there's a tool shed out back, the other side of the motel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will you be requiring a toolbox? Maybe. Um, let's go with yes, just to be safe. Uh, will you be needing your basic toolbox or your cedar chest toolbox? <laughs> yeah, you fuck with me. Obviously the cedar chest toolbox. Obviously. Oh, that's in the shed. It's a big wooden box with the words tools to make a cedar chest carved into the side of it. Okay. So it's okay. Okay. I'm assuming you're kidding. Um, but in the off chance that you're not, I'll where check it in, in the shed would I find that box? <laughs> wow. Okay, you're okay. kidding. I thought so. Don't mess with <laughs> but you. I don't know. So. Don't mess with you, David. They're toying with you. <laughs> There's no cedar box toolbox. She so gotta go out this way. showcase my talents, I thought, for the group. Oh, that's great. An audition? Great. You can call it an audition if you must, or uh, an impromptu performance, or perhaps an evening with. That all sounds amazing. Um, we're just finishing up a rehearsal. We just have to work out a couple of rough spots in Lena's solo, and then you can have the floor. I'll wait. Far be it for me to get in the way of you making any necessary improvements. <laughs> Any necessary? Just stop throwing shots. She can't help herself. Let's just work out some of those little rough spots, okay? So let's take it from for tonight for the first time. Cause tonight for the first time, just about half past ten. For <laughs> the first time, <laughs> she's intimidating. Yeah. Wait, she didn't think anybody was going to First of all, Bob, that's not the expression. Um, take a seat. It's not the expression. If I may, an observation. To run a business, you have to be here to run the business. You have to be here to deal with your clients. That's what I've been doing all afternoon. You got some clients. That's great news. No. No, you don't. I was dealing with your customers. Well, thank you, John. It's a refreshing uh, change of attitude. Bob oh, just oh my God. Like, He's oblivious. And while you were gone, I helped a customer fill his tire with air. I helped an elderly woman add oil to her car. And I sold the 93 Buick for $350. You've got to be here to run your business. Whoa, you have been busy. Listen, uh, tell me just a little more about selling that Buick. Well, funny story. Oh my god. This guy came in supposedly for directions, okay? But anyone with a background in sales could see how he was eyeballing that Buick. So I slow play it. I pretend I don't notice. And then he sort of mentions the Buick. So I have in hot textbook stuff. I tell Is him, you know, car? oh, there's a lot of interest car? in that particular vehicle. You know, I'm playing the guy like a bow fiddle. Then he finally admits, this is the kind of car that he's been looking for. Oh, really, says I. That's when I go in for the kill. Long story short, he forks over $350 cash. And you're welcome. Uh, Certain mistakes 
You just don't lose. It's like riding a bike. Well, funny you should use that expression. Because uh, Dick Sensen is going to be riding his bike until we can get his car back for him. Who's Dick Simpson? I couldn't tell you. But Dick Simpson is the fella whose car you just sold. Mm, he sold he brought somebody else's car. for a brake job. Don't recall him wanting to sell it. Oh. Mm. Oh, poor Dick. He loved that car. It was a gift from the church. Uh, he and his family hit on some uh, some hard times. And you said yeah, it for $350? I will call Mr. Stinson and apologize. Well, you can apologize to Mr. Stinson until the cows come home. But I don't see how that is going to help Dick Simpson. I'll fix it, Bob. Here's hope. How'd you sell three? I mean, three fifty is really cheap. That's how you sell it. Hey, Simpson. Simpson. Dick Simpson. Dick Simpson. Dick Simpson. Dick Simpson. Dick Simpson. All right. We just need to wait for the glue to dry. Shouldn't take too long. This is really nice of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, I can't not jump in and help when I see someone doing something wrong. Was it wrong, or was it just unconventional? No, it was wrong. Uh, wrong. Okay, well, I'm not going to argue with you, because I need you to keep working. We're in too deep. We're in too uh, deep. I need <laughs> to know about this. Yeah. Well, you just needed some time away. Can I tell you something? Well, you got to promise not to tell Alexis. Let me guess. If you're experiencing feelings for me, like I totally get it. Um, I knew he was gonna go there. Normally, I'd be into it. I've just been down this road before, and it's it's messy. No, it's about Alexis. I see. I okay. see. Okay. Um. Well, you know. Uh, what is it? <laughs> what is she it? slept over like a week and a half ago. She hasn't left. Uh. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love having her there at night. If you know what I mean. I do, but I don't. It's just the days. They've gotten a bit uh, suffocating. I just think that a little space is a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. It is, totally. I mean, I've been enjoying it a lot, so. I live alone, and now someone is there all the time, which is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But just not every day. And I just don't know what to say. Well, she sort of fades into the background after a while, you know, like a, like a smoke alarm. Are you just saying that because you don't want to move back here? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I hope she's You just take some you. time, you know? Carve out some time in a day to just escape. You know, do what you want to do. It's the only thing that'll keep you sane. Because, no, you can't mention any of this to her. She loses her fucking mind. <laughs> she loses her fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't it's take criticism. So why don't we reschedule this for two weeks from now, when you're all more prepared. Oh no, we were done early. We got plenty of time. Thank you. But I think I'm finding a little bug. Come on, Moira, audition. I would love to learn from a professional singer. Or we could just all go home early. Come on, Moira. Let's go home early. Moira. Moira. That's Moira. 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 Are we going to all go I can't say no to anyone. <laughs> yeah, hello. Woo. Oh, well, you got a little shake. Someone help me all that long. It should have been you. Someone's arms were big and strong. It should have been you. I, I, I warned you I was lonely. But you didn't seem to care. No, no, no. I chicken if it's you too, but I you had a heat of almost two food. The furniture chunk of the song that I was on the other party. Ticket to food. Please, it's an abundance. I can do it. Yeah, she sung at the funeral, didn't she? Danny boy. Yeah, Danny boy. What happened? She intimidated me now, huh, baby? Someone left me on the log. It should have, it should have been you. 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 That's the end. <sighs> I guess we can't go home early. That was, that was different. Something. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'll leave you to discuss. <laughs> she 
she made. Oh, yeah, he talked to her about it. She's an ant. What's going on? Um, I need to see if you're a snake. Oh. Look at this, okay? this nice little chest. Though. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? That's just that you've been spending a lot of time at, at nuts. Yeah, I know. And I actually had to talk to him about that. No, he talked oh. to her about it. Oh, we did. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like, he brought all my stuff back, and I was like, this is great. Mm -hmm. But then, at the same time, I was just kind of like, I feel like I need my space right now. Yeah, and that's something that you said to him. <laughs> yeah, 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 we were chatting, and it was just like, I feel like I need to spend a few days. I'm like, literally. Yeah. That's, again, that's, you said that. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Um, and how did he take that? Um, well, I mean, I was kind of worried about telling him. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because I didn't want, I didn't want to hurt him, and I didn't want him to worry, like, oh my god, is he breaking up with me? Is he breaking, is up, with breaking up with me? Yeah. Right, yeah, because we wouldn't want him to worry about that. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm really glad that I told him. It looks. Well, I've probably never heard the real deal. I suppose. Well, John, probably it's so, never so heard. good. To be working the old muscles. You know what Mary began to do? Like, what are we doing? Bending the notes. Well, I must have enjoyed it, sweetheart, if they asked you to join. Mm. I don't even know if you have been there, John. It would have been so nice to have you to sing to. Well, I'm sorry I missed it. I would change oils today. And selling other people's cars. <sighs> In your dreams, I soon caress you. You gonna have to pick some girls. In your dreams, I hustle lovingly. Now she just gotta sing all the time. Bones are bones are between you and me. All right, that was episode three of Shit's Creek and an entertaining episode. I love the box being built. I love that damn mud had to come out with his feelings and say what he had to say. And then, of course, Alexa had to come through and just lie about it because we know what happened after that conversation. Oh, her right ego. Yeah. And speaking of egos, man, Mora went through and tried to try out, tried to take over the, 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 the Jazzer girls over there. And guess what? There's somebody there who seemed better than you. Mm -hmm. And she showed off tonight, and you felt embarrassed, felt some type of way. And that's what had happened. And so I thought that was very hilarious and another smack in the face of reality to bring her back down to earth. And I thought that was a good time. So this episode was just all good all the way around. So cannot wait for another one. I think my highlight has to be Stevie uh, messing with uh, David as far box. as the toolbox. That shit had me dying. That was so great. And even when Mutt uh, interacted with David as far as like how far have you gotten and he's like crumbling up the thing because yeah. he sees a potential out of him having to build it himself was just so well executed. Um, and I loved the ending as far as uh, David fully knowing full well that Alexis is lying her ass off and trying to save face and that he leaned in to lie about saving the box too. So I thought the theme of like the lies and all that worked so well this episode. Moira getting uh, knocked down a few pegs once again, although she can't claim it now because they obviously offered her a thing so she thinks she blew uh blew them away mm -hmm. but this was definitely a courtesy nod they were just like because they were not impressed with no. her skill sets but i think also she was put off a little bit by being intimidated yeah. and put on the spot but it is always nice to see i mean with um even yeah, with the even dad too yeah. yeah with the dad too being knocked out a couple pegs i think it's so great to still see those elements because but i think he found some joy a little bit in doing it even I though mean, he, he yeah, fucked even up, he but wasn't. It, it wasn't even joy. It was more so coming at Bob, like I can even run your business. And Bob, yeah. the way Bob even received the information was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more. He knew right off the bat that mm -hmm. you did, you made a mistake. Yeah. You want to be over here bragging, cool. yeah. So I, I think both of them still getting, all of them still having these elements in which the town, uh, the people in the town are still able to bring them down several pegs. Mm -hmm. 
is gonna be something that continues to, to develop yeah. because it takes time. So I appreciate every time we see those instances because I feel like the way they deliver the authenticity of those instances is so real life. Yeah, like, I mean, David seems like he's the only one so far that's, that, that has moved at least an inch over to reality to, to understand that I'm, I'm here. We here in this town. Yeah. This, world, this is our life. And I think it's because he's, he appreciates the friendship that he has with Stevie. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't have... He, he's the outside of his like clothes obviously and like the high-end aspect of living from a relationship standpoint David didn't have those connections yeah. when they had money um, so he has his best relationships in the town that he has now with Stevie mm -hmm, with so I think money. I think that he really appreciates those relationships um, which puts him on a different like level compared, yeah. compared to the rest of his family. So another great episode, yeah. obviously. Cannot wait for the next one. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Shit's Creek, Season 2, Episode number 3. And until next time, people, peace.